This video describes the process to add serial numbers to your XMS Cloud account after you've activated a subscription to add more slots to accommodate additional APs. If you've purchased Xeris products from Riverbed in the past, you'll notice that Cambium's processes for subscription activation and serial number registration are different. End customers are now responsible for these activities. Let's take a look at the end-to-end -end process, then we'll look at how to add serial numbers to your account. Everything starts when you place an order with an authorized Cambium reseller. Resellers are supported by Cambium Networks and our distribution partners. You'll receive the hardware portion of your order in the usual way. The subscription portion of the order is packaged as an entitlement and sent to you via email. The email has an entitlement ID, or EID, and the subscription details. You'll use this EID to activate your subscription in your XMS Cloud account. To activate your service, go to the Cambium Support Center at support.cambiumnetworks.com. You'll navigate to the Entitlement section of the site and paste the EID. You'll identify your XMS Cloud account or create a new account. When you click Activate, Support Center sends the subscription activation to XMS Cloud. The number of slots you purchased are added to your account. Now you can log into your XMS account to upload serial numbers and begin to use your access points. Now let's look at two ways to add serial numbers to your account. You can add serial numbers one at a time, or you can upload a list of serial numbers. The single entry method is best when you have only one AP or only a few APs to onboard. The list upload method is best when you have many access points to onboard. Let's start with the method for entering one at a time. Click on the Access Points tab at the top of any XMS Cloud web page. Then click on Add Remove. Finally, click on the orange Add AP to Account button. The serial number is a required field. You may add host name and location if your organization uses these fields. If you don't enter a value for host name, XMS assigns a serial number to this field. When you're done adding field values, click Add to Account. The serial number is added to the list with status equal waiting. It will remain in this status until the AP connects to the internet and contacts XMS Cloud. Now let's look at adding serial numbers via a text file. Use a text editor such as Notepad or TextEdit to create the list. You can also create a list in Excel and save it in CSV format. The first value at the top of the page must be the word serial number as shown. After that, enter one serial number per line. To upload, click on the Access Points tab, then click on Import. Navigate to the folder and file on your computer that contains the serial number list. When you select the file, the upload process begins automatically. The serial numbers are added to the list in XMS Cloud. Each serial number is assigned to the host name field. Status equals waiting. Whichever serial number entry method you use, the final step is to connect the APs to the Internet. The devices will contact XMS Cloud and the onboarding process will complete. In the upper left of the page, XMS Cloud shows the number of access points in your account relative to the number of slots in your subscription. Once the number of provisioned access points equals the number of slots, you cannot add any more access points to your account until you purchase an additional subscription for more slots. When your account is in this state, the Import button will not appear and the Add to Account button will be dimmed and will not operate. If you have any questions about this or any other XMS Cloud or Xeris AP topic, you may open a ticket with Cambium support. Go to support.cambiumnetworks.com, log in, and click on Submit a Request. Also, please consider becoming a member of the Cambium community where you can join the conversation with peers and Cambium staff. This concludes our tutorial on how to add serial numbers to your XMS Cloud account. We also have a tutorial on how to activate an XMS Cloud subscription to provision slots into your account. A link to the tutorial for this process is in the description below.